بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالعفك الأعلى Thank you so much, Brother Muntaka. This is a beautiful evening, and I've been fortunate to see so many wonderful people. Um, just in five minutes, the purpose of our life here is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To worship, we need to be able to act. The only way we can act in the best manners um, is to stay healthy. If we look at all the recommendations in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet it requires going the extra mile. It requires extending ourselves. It requires forgiving others, for example. It requires um, being helpful, being supportive. But one cannot offer anything unless you have it first. The only way to be kind to others is to have kindness within ourselves. And there's no way we can be kind to ourselves unless we maintain a healthy mind and body. So my dear brothers and sisters, I have made, I have made my pledge in life to work on myself on a daily basis to maintain a healthy mind and body in order to share those same benefits. So in that um, pursuit, I moved from being a consultant, making good money, to actually devoting my life to supporting and comforting people. And I'm offering every single one of us here who's willing to embark with me on this journey. Every one of my product that one gets, I'm donating $5 to the masjid and forever. And some of the problems we have in this society come from, first of all, our poor diet. We eat so poorly. We are so stressed out, right? We have so much um, pressure from our families, from siblings, from people back home, from so many things. But the only way we can maintain sanity in mind and body is that if we keep taking care of ourselves on a daily basis. So my brothers and sisters, this body is our temple. This is where Allah has decided to house something that comes from him, which is a soul. That's what he said, right? So the ruh, which is really this of divine sense, is what our body is housing. So we should take care of it. We should not wait until we get sick. Prevention, prevention, prevention. So we have all the tools, but yet we're not using it. If we even study from the a, a tradition of our Prophet وسلم, we will notice that he was one of the best to take care of himself. He took care of what he ate. He never ate to a certain extent, never. He watched his diet. They moved. They were never sedentary. We're not moving. We're so overweight. How can we engage in cultivating mind and body when we're so heavy? So we need to cleanse our bodies. We need to watch with uh, our food. We need to help our children gain the mentality of growing with a health consciousness. When we are conscious in our health and mind and body, we are more 
able to provide the best in our societies. We will be importing um, the best behaviors, the best attitude, the kindest, warmest. This heart was only made to love, nothing else. We can only love when we're healthy. We can only love when we are balanced. So this is something that should be of one of our most single most important endeavors, which is how do I maintain a healthy mind and body every single day so I can worship Allah? Because he said to us, I have not created mankind and jinn except that they worship me. We cannot worship the best we want unless we're healthy. If doing sujood, for example, of doing ruku is a problem, how can it be done with mindfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So in order to build a, a, a healthy, a, a divine consciousness, we have to make sure that we have a sound mind, and a sound mind in a sound body. So please, let's work together. If any of you is interested in learning more about the services that I offer, please get in touch with um, Imam Muhammad Saho. He can give you my contact. If there's anything, we need to build a more, um, a stronger, more loving, more compassionate, and know that when we love one another and extend our love to each other, we are healing ourselves more. Sometimes all we need to hear from one another is just, I love you, I care about you. And, and Salah Sidlam said one thing to us, you will not enter Jannah until you believe. You cannot believe until you love. Shall I tell you, what he said, shall I not tell you something? If you do it, it will increase love amongst you. Is what, basically, greet one another, say salam to each other. How can you not want the best to someone else if you say salam to them, peace be upon you. Peace is the single most important thing we should cultivate every single day. But that peace can only be cultivated if we are constantly taking care of ourselves in the mind and body. Thank you so much. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالعفك الأعلى ثم دنا فتدى